Surviving on one heart is practically impossible. A bow shot from a skeleton does two hearts of damage, which you can avoid pretty easily, but then you're met with a creeper whose explosion can kill you 32 times over. So, you block it with a shield, only to realize that you accidentally just fell five blocks. Yeah. This is impossible, but that's why I'm gonna do it anyway on the Lifesteal SMP, which means if I die once, I'm banned off the server for good. How long can I survive without getting banned? Well, who knows, because the only thing I could think about was the fact that night's gonna be falling in probably eight minutes or so. So, I'm gonna get some wood and craft this and this. I spent that first day gathering the basics, like stone, wood, and food. I even decided to climb up a mountain to gather coal and it wasn't long until night began to set in. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry, it's about to become night. Okay, mobs are gonna start spawning. I have to keep that in mind. Oh no, 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 no. All right, I'll admit it, this was probably the worst house I had ever made, but it was really all I needed to survive. Plus, the night allowed me to go mining. That way I could search for resources safely underground and then explore the surface during the day when all the mobs were gone. I, I would usually get the bubbles from the magma blocks, but I can't even do that, because I'd risk taking damage. I mean, I guess we could swim across there. That's pretty risky, especially because those bubbles are going to pull us down. But you know what? I'm going to risk it. That decision took me an entire night to make. That's what one heart does to you. The next day, though, I headed up to the surface to craft a bucket. And with this, I could finally pick up water and build a farm. Let's grab that infinite water source. And if you're wondering why I'm not getting rid of these blocks, like right in front of me, that leaves more room for me to jump, and if I jump, I'm going to die. Business was booming inside of my base. Since I needed food to go mining, I invested my time into building an underground wheat farm. Then, I just waited. The wheat grew, I replanted it, and I was finally ready to search for some shiny blue rocks. Wait, gold, gold, this is huge. We can make golden apples. If we make golden apples, we can get an extra couple of hearts. I proceeded to find diamonds and a bunch of other ores, so because I was geared up a bit, I decided that it would be a good idea to finally head back to the surface. Oh, creeper. Okay. Okay, that's a creeper. That's a creeper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not die here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna eat a golden apple. That was the most nerve-wracking thing I think I've ever done. Never am I going back out. Oh my god. That was the reality of this challenge. If I had pulled out my shield a second too late, or if the creeper had blown up a little bit earlier, I would have been banned off of the server. I decided to sit in my wheat farm for a little bit, and not long after, I had my first visitor. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call him. Welcome. Hello! Hi, 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 hi! Oh! Oh, oh, oh my gosh, bro! What are you doing? Welcome to my humble abode. This is pretty fire. I know, I have the right. farm down here. That's where I get my oh. food. Basically, <laughs> I went outside yesterday and I um, like I was about to die because of a skeleton. Really? What I, yeah, yeah. So I, I like flicked my shield last second and then a creeper came up behind me and I turned around with my shield. Without totems, it's impossible for me to do anything. You know how I stole Woogie's polar bear? Okay, you probably I don't. That. I don't I think remember. you were there. Tomorrow. I'm gonna do a trade with Woogie. Totems for his polar bear. Oh, and uh, cute. I'm gonna need you to do a little bit of distracting. I mean, I have gotten some stuff. Like I have this diamond axe, the diamond Ah, uh, yeah, shovel. bro, you're looking oh, clean. Bro, you are going to kill me, bro. Okay, that sounds like a plan to me. Meet me here, 6.45 PM tomorrow, and we'll figure things out. All right. Okay. Do you want me to clean up these creeper holes outside or does that not matter to nah, you? Nah, it's fine. Oh, oh. Bro! Ah, <sighs> dude, it's been so lonely on one heart. To be fair though, interacting with other players puts you in a lot of unnecessary danger. But I assume that if I could survive Spoke, it couldn't hurt to also get some sugarcane. There's definitely gonna be mo- like there's a skeleton right there. Wait, there's sugarcane. There's sugarcane. I think I will have time to get back to my base, and all the mobs should have despawned. Okay, we made it back with the sugarcane. Sugarcane secured. I spent the rest of that night gathering a few more resources for the next day's adventure. Time absolutely flew by though, and soon enough, Spoke was knocking again at my door. Yo! What? 
There's a skeleton with a pumpkin on its head, bro. Oh, isn't that the October thing? Oh, okay, okay. You oh, see, I see, see it. I see the skeleton. We couldn't get too distracted, though. I had a deal to make, so I crafted three more golden apples and set out to spawn. Which way we're gonna go? This way. Okay, this could kill me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh! Only... Hey! Hey! <laughs> I just see you just fall and just walk off, bro. Why'd you do- Why- Stop doing that. Stop that. Got a long ways to go, especially with you being on one heart. And... Oh my... Hey. Hey. That- hey, Oh! Yo! Yo! Whoa, help me! Put up your shield! Me. Put up your shield! Put up help your shield! Me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only one hit of those and you're dead, bro. And soon enough, we arrived at spawn. And that was when Spoke said this. Does it look a little different? Yeah. I mean, I've been getting accused of, like, being someone named Medusa. A few days before, two players had approached me with some questions. Apparently, someone who went by the name of Medusa had been replacing buildings at spawn with obsidian. These two players quickly realized that it couldn't have been me, since I was literally just sitting on one heart the whole time, but seeing all these obsidian buildings for the first time piqued my interest. Who was Medusa? And if Medusa truly existed, what was their motive? I didn't think much of it at the time though, because my priority was trading for totems. Hello. Hello, I wasn't FEC, you know, you could have just joined. Okay, I need you to go to the other end of the bridge, the one away from the clock. I have no intentions of killing you. I have no intention of killing you too, I just want to make a peaceful trade. You I would love to make a peaceful trade. So I brought you the four totems, I got four totems right here. What I need you to do, is I need you to go to the center of the bridge. I want you to place a chest, and I want you to put the four totems inside. I want you to walk 250 blocks in a different direction. Then I'll DM you where W is. You can go there for confirmation. You can secure W. And then I want you to come right back and put the two totems in the chest. One, two, two totems. All right, now walk there. away. Really, 250? Like, that's pretty far. <laughs> it is pretty far. Like, what's the ch I mean, I'm, you could want to just, like, have a spoke follow me. I can go, like, 150, because there's no way I can probably pearl all the way back over there. Time. Unbeknownst to Woogie, I wasn't actually going to give his polar bear back. So, I took the two totems and logged off for the night. And when I logged on the next day, I was met with a huge commotion going on at spawn. The identity of Medusa was being exposed in a couple of minutes, so I wrote a bubble column up to height limit and began watching the whole thing from above. For those of you who don't know, I've gathered you all here today to once and for all expose Medusa and hopefully execute them. With that, I would like to ask uh, Medusa to please show yourself. Yeah, Medusa! Medusa. No! No! It's not hey. pretty sad. No. Hey guys. I would like to screen share you the one piece of evidence. Everyone, please watch my dream. As Mapik and I were going to work on a video, we encountered some very incriminating evidence. <laughs> Somebody's petrified. It's Zam! Bro, just oh, logged. Wait, what? Bro, we just found Medusa. It's Zam! <sighs> Okay, 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 okay. Isn't I don't it? like Parrot being up there. Parrot, would you like to come down and join us, please? No. Can we kill Parrot? He, no, he doesn't. Why? He's fine, he's fine. This information pertains to you a lot. The first one involves Parrot. A lot of you, I led a lot of you to believe that Parrot was Medusa. That's just not true. It's me. There's one more it's piece Parrot. of evidence that proves me and Parrot are not working together. Parrot, do you remember your bird Prime? Yeah. <gasps> I led Pangy to Prime. Prime is dead because of you me. Take that. Soon, Zam was banned off the server for his crimes committed as Medusa, and I was forced to leave spawn, knowing that there was nothing I could do to take down the player who killed my no bird. But I, I guess you're not coming, actually. Bro! Oh, Paris the <laughs> post-mortal. Can Just we stop? How did that happen? I shot you once! It was clear that I needed golden apples, specifically for their healing capabilities. If I ate one every two minutes, I could stay at three hearts because of the added absorption that they provided. So, I messaged my friend Subs, who I knew had a gold fund. Now, my base might- I don't know how many people actually come to and from it. I know basically the whole server has its cords now. I don't think anybody else actually uses it. Okay. Like, I use it occasionally, but I've never seen anyone else use it. I think- I know Redunes the other day, actually, he was asking me about a gold fund, I believe. It's a little bit large. Oh. My god. Subs then taught me how to use the farm, so I spent the next hour or so gearing myself up, and that was when I received some bad news. You hear about the fight tonight? There's gonna be a, 
a Medusa fight. You know Medusa, the person who is turning Spawn into Obsidian? Well, apparently it wasn't just one person. There were three of them, and they were having a final fight that night to take over Spawn. As much as I wanted to take Medusa down, there was just one issue. There's a fight going on tonight, and no, like, no one's gonna win. No one has the capacity to win. Nobody wanted to fight back, fearing that they would lose everything. And, as dangerous as it was for me to be even remotely close to the battle, I knew that I needed to rally every single player I knew to fight back. So, that's what I started doing. I didn't have much time though, two hours to be exact, so I needed to be as fast as possible. So you need my base and my help in combat then. Yes. I'll help you guys out in this fight, you can use my base, but afterwards I want... I don't really want any business in anything else. And lucky for us, subs was stacked. There's an auto cobblestone, auto tree, auto bone meal, uh, concrete farm, witch farm, squid farm, bee farm, gas oh, farm, a... wither skeleton farm, oh slime farm, forest cell creeper farm. Why did they kill you? Oh, oh my, my god! What yeah. happened? What happened? Oh. Ashwag just crystalled spoke. Did we just get turned on? We had no idea. And to make matters worse, the three players who made up Medusa showed up to the base not long after and completely covered the pumpkin farm with obsidian. I realized that we were walking into this fight completely blind. If Medusa had been practicing, or even worse, if they had set up a trap, all of us, and even I, could potentially end up dying. But I could only hope for the best as everyone gathered by the nether portal that connected to the battle. He is nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm pretty nervous. Here, please hold a totem. Here. Oh my god. What? You're gonna die to like fall damage or something. There's nobody trapped with the portal, right? They're okay, okay, Perry, get, get ready to talk to your totem. Alright, I'm going through. I'm going through. Wait, Bacon, right, can I drop me the invis? I need one. Uh, Just drop it. Yeah, it's not oh, trapped, yeah. not trapped, not trapped. The coast was clear. Everybody headed to their positions, and all we could do now was wait. As you might know, together, we have petrified the entirety of spawn. Although we may have manipulated, we may have lied, we may have put friends against each other, we may have caused betrayal, now spawn will be eternal forever. And if you oppose that, then you are about to die right here, right now. The author of War and Peace, Leo Tolstoy, once wrote, Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Basically, mm -hmm. what we're saying is that we are not here to fight. We are here to win. Oh, there's more of them. I get it. Okay. Alright, uh, okay. I guess we're Guys, they might be low. They might be low. You guys may- we need someone back. I- I'm watching the whole place. Someone head back to the other side of spawn. Like, sure. oh, by the- Oh, he's gonna have a heart! Try to aggro me. Little does he know I have turtle master. Yeah, you're good. You're good, Spoke. That's a good, like, distraction. Oh, make big so, make big so, make big so. Oh, yeah, oh, nice! 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 Let's go! Nice. Right. Let's go. Yeah, I have no more strength in the Someone re Help me! Oh, oh, nice! Let's go! Oh, I got his god apples! I got his god apples! <laughs> yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, really take that. Nice, nice web. Nice web. Guys, I have no strength left now. Nice! Nice! Yes! Well, that was a week on one heart, but luckily, it's not over yet. I'm continuing this series until I die, so subscribe. If you subscribe, YouTube is almost guaranteed to recommend you the next episode, and if you don't subscribe, you may never see me again. So, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.